So a Bernie here, amazing volunteer, is doing some work on the end dive. Can you explain what you're doing, Bernie? Yeah. Hi. Um, so I'm cutting quite low down to the bot on the bottom um, because they're all starting to rot. Um, we don't want them to be wasted, so the new growth will come back up here. So and um, we'll keep the slugs away as well a little bit that way. And um, what I'm doing here is I'll take the there's lots of worms in here as well, but I'll take the middle the heart out of the endive. And then this is beautiful to eat still. The outer leaves are all rotten, but this is all beautiful here. So there you go. And then this goes into the compost, which will make amazing compost. And this goes and in our... We, and then we tidy all this up, so there's no slugs, food for the slugs here. So... Fantastic. Thanks, then, Bernie. Yeah. Is that okay? Or, yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah? Okay. And look at what the quality okay of then? these leaves. Yeah. Yeah. They're beautiful. Yeah. I mean, there might be the odd, the odd one, yeah. the odd okay. one that needs yeah. removing, yeah. but they're looking okay. really good. Yeah. And it's interesting what Bernie was saying. There's a lot of worms, worms. Loads of, yeah. lots of composting worms that live in the endive. That's to prove that this is such an, a great plant to improve soil. Look at the roots that are coming right to the surface here. Just because of the protection that the leaves give. And also the roots are very deep, so this is doing a lot of decompaction. It's an amazing plant. More people should eat it, so hopefully We've convinced you to plant some more endive in your gardens. Thank you, Bernie. That's okay. <laughs> and to give you a feel, this is how the, the chicory, the, sorry, the endive looks. It's all kind of rotten, but then when you go in there, there's a lot of goodness to it. And this is also true of um, radicchio sometimes. So you see here, this radicchio head looks like it's rotting. But if you scrape off the outside, you peel off the outer leaves, the inside is nice and blanched and completely sealed. So it doesn't rot, it stays oxygen and waterproof and so it does keep for a very long time in the field even when the outside part is rotting so it's worth knowing this about chicories that they're a great crop and they can be left outside until the first frost and even a little bit after that and then you use them when you need them and this is a good job very clean so no slugs can hide in here no mice and lots of roots growing into the compost so another effect of cutting things like Bernie is doing here is that it also stimulates via the root mycelial network, network all the neighbouring plants. Now in this case, Raj, shh, it doesn't matter so much. Raj, shh, it doesn't matter so much because they're all close to endives anyway. But over here, where we have the chard and the lettuce, cutting the endive does improve the growth of the neighbouring plants. Shh. All right, Roger is, is not in agreement with this. 